Hello everyone and welcome back to Available Zoo. So in a previous episode we recreated this entire entrance area and it looks so much better than it was before. So I'm really happy with this result but one thing didn't fix it and that is the stress levels of the flamingos still but again there are a lot of them so i'm gonna move some of them to the trade center again let's check there really are a lot of new flamingos so let's um filter this one flamingo okay so i'm gonna move all of these to the trade center again send to trade center yes there you go much better so I already put these silence signs over here, but yeah, somehow it, it doesn't help. So I think I might have to create some indoor area over here for the flamingos. Uh, but yeah, I will probably do that uh, off camera, I think. An animal died. Huh? Poor thing. Let's call a vet. Keeper work zone does not include habitat or exhibit. This guy has nothing to do, so let's give him a... Uh, let's do no work zone, he can just jump in wherever he wants. Much better. He was just actually staring at the solar panel. Very nice. I think I saw something that I have like really a lot of exhibit animals. Let's check. These are all in exhibit 14. So let's move all of them. Jeez, there are a lot of them. Okay, send to trade center and sell all of them select all and quick trade we are going to uh, 2 million by the way it's uh, 1.9 almost so uh, that's a good job oh he is about to inbreed rather than not what do I have to do can I stop this I guess not there are a lot of pygmy hippos in here as well let's see zoo and then we will have the pygmy hippo so i'm gonna move all of these to the trade center and then get another female in here probably the best idea oh, there are also a lot of bongos i don't know what's happening in my zoo but <laughs> there's so many animals i'm gonna check the settings i think i might have changed it yeah i see animal aging let's put that one to five it's really see all the bongos so we really have to fix all of that. How are my entrance prices? Can I increase them a little bit to 50 and 45 maybe? Let's see. People are still happy to pay that. That's good. I'll get to the 2 million even faster. Oh, we have fighting crocodiles as well. 50 years old and a 15. I'm gonna send you to the trade center. Okay, let's see. What else can we do? zoo overview we have some crime so let's replace all of this we've only had a four star rating while all my habitats got five stars but my education is very low we still have to do something about that so to increase that education level i'm gonna put some uh, every time i build something i have to promise myself i will put some more education in there so like these conversation uh, conservation boards what a treatment requires repair. I, I think I forgot something. I saw that in my own video. I need to put some staff pathing in there. Otherwise, people can just enter this building. And I don't want that. And I didn't check the negative impact yet. Let's see. Ne negative impact. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Only people will stand right there. We'll see it. That's fine. But one thing I have to do is include these buildings into a work zone. So we're going to edit this work zone, which includes this solar panel. And that's it. Nice. So we're going to include this and we will call it entrance. Now we're going to see if a staff member already has this or basically a mechanic. Do we already have a mechanic for the entrance? Not really. This guy is for the African wild dogs and war dogs. We don't even have them anymore. So you are gonna do the entrance. There you go. So how are things in my desert? Let's see. This is still okay, I guess. People seem to enjoy it. There's no trash around. That's always a good thing. People are having some uh, food and still no one is using my beautiful terrace over here. Such a shame. 
So we have a baby camel. Alright, so uh, the desert building is doing very well. I didn't want to bother you guys with this. But I can check if they already fixed it, yes or no. So if I go to animal storage. I'm gonna sell the artwork. I'm gonna click trade. Uh, it's, uh, it seems better. Let's see how it goes when I uh, sold like two or three animals. Alright, that was it. So I did two of them and I can't work in it anymore. I can click. But it doesn't work. Nice. So I already made a ticket about this. For Frontier. But uh, yeah, I guess it's not finished. Or not fixed yet, sorry. So I'm not gonna bother you with the selling of the animals. So we will switch to the building time lapse right now. Alright, and today we are going to expand the uh, entrance area and for two good reasons to get the attentions of the flamingos because they are still getting stressed and uh, I just want to expand this uh, this part I really like the style of it so I'm going to uh, extend this um, to this habitat as well and we are going to add the llamas to this part I didn't feel like adding the llamas to like the tropical area uh, I think they are more like a petting zoo, uh, animal, stuff like that. So I thought it would be the perfect animal to put into the entrance area as well. So I'm starting off with a uh, limestone building again. And um, doing the pathing around this area. You will see me struggling a lot with the paths. And um, yeah, it just doesn't do the things I want in, the, in this case. I'm... No, actually never really complaining about the pathing tool but in this case yes if you really want to create like big open areas like this with different shapes they just make it impossible for you so that's why you see a lot of people like covering the paths up with um with some floors and uh, stuff like that but i didn't want to do that because i still want to keep in mind the piece count um i know my desert building has like 9,000 pieces already so i have to keep in mind the uh, all the pieces so yeah i didn't want to do that so um, yeah you will just see me struggling a lot with the path thing but yeah it, it is what it is um so yeah this is basically the the same style building so we will have a viewing area over here so the people can also see the llamas when they are sleeping indoors or when they are like hiding for the the rain yeah same same style same thing you will have these uh, limestone crims around the building um, the roof is a little bit different. I used a different color. Yeah, just to make it look a little bit different from all the other stuff that is in the uh, in the entrance area. And you will have this uh, door uh, for the llamas to enter the building with the same classical style all over it. And some, yeah, some modern things in there as well with the glass. In, um, I thought it would look uh, cool like this. And um, yeah, it was also uh, struggling. You don't really have any... Uh, like half wall pieces for the limestone which you can create something like this so um, yeah I, I I found the glass pieces to work perfectly um, so that's why I chose them so I would also like to thank all the people who have uh, been joining my discord server recently and um, and also my social media accounts um, if you're not following me yet I do have a Instagram and a Twitter account I will put a link down in the description of course and the same thing if you want to join my discord server and i will promise you guys i'm gonna put a little bit more attention in that discord server this weekend so i'm gonna create a little, some more uh, channels try to find some uh, good moderators uh, to keep everything uh, alive and um, i also have something in mind for a little uh, giveaway contest but yeah you will uh, probably get more information on that one in the uh, next episode uh, but yeah, continue uh, with the, the building. Um, yeah, same style again with the with the windows. They are a little bit different, but still you have the limestone uh, windows uh, in there. Uh, just a different shape, basically. So I'm trying to uh, make everything uh, look perfect with, uh, with the limestone trims. And I think that will be uh, almost all the uh, detailing on the building uh, for now. Oh no, I found a uh, another uh, trim that I uh, thought it would, uh, would look cool and a little bit more uh, realistic and then i'm just changing the uh, the viewing areas here a little bit using the uh, uh, glass pieces the new glass pieces uh, actually in the in the game and then i start working again on the little viewing area over here and uh, trying to find some uh, nice pillars and uh, yeah i found these limestone things they look perfect 
and uh, I just want to blend them in a little bit better with the uh, pathing. I thought it would look weird if it just directly had the pillar on there. So um, yeah, trying to uh, do some decoration. I'm already putting some education in here and I really like these, uh, these decorations around the education uh, stuff. I will call them. You can recolor them. Uh, they are perfect. Um, so I'm starting on a uh, costume fencing for this uh, little uh, habitat. I'm uh, just I played around a lot with this uh, fence. I tried to also make it from limestone that look weird. Trying to make it the same as the entrance style fencing that also look weird. So I ended up using some wood pieces, and then uh, I finally came up with uh, this final design of this fan so I'm gonna use uh, this one all over the place just doing some uh, final detailing on uh, on the fence and that will uh, yeah that will be it for the fence so some people might have already seen it I also started playing some different games on the channel I just uh, recently uh, got a key for uh, before we leave is which is a new city building game which will be released on the 8th of May and uh, I already got early access for that the first episode is already on my channel so make sure you check that one out as well I also started a uh, a little mini series on uh, Zoo Tycoon which I will uh, continue uh, as well this week um, but I would really like to hear you or your guys opinion about these uh, games or if you want to see another game on the channel or just say okay Zoofluenza please just Stick with Planet Zoo, uh, that's what we want to see um, and try to make as much uh, content for that game as possible. I do understand the, that yeah, most people are here for Planet Zoo as well, but I really like to uh, extend the amount of games. Um, but yeah, basically because Planet Zoo is, is de quite demanding on your creativity and sometimes you're just not feeling it and you can't continue in your zoo or yeah, you basically can't come up with anything like new to build so it's always good to have like a backup game that you can still play and um, yeah have fun in and uh, but also try to keep up with uh, content creating as well uh, to keep in touch with you guys so I thought the uh, zoo tech was perfect for that and like some small games like before we leave and uh, stuff like that but if you have any other suggestions for uh, yeah some new games on the channel just uh, let me know down in the comments which games you would like to see. And uh, yeah, I just also already uh, finished the, uh, the fencing. Then I'm uh, going in with the mulch again. Uh, trying uh, to uh, keep everything look nice and tidy. You can see that I uh, try to make the corners as perfect as possible. You can already see that the pathing is not the way I want it. Uh, but yeah, in the end, I think I will fix it. Um, but you will always have something like this, that the, the guests will walk through the uh, mulch area and through all the plants that I will uh, finally put in here. Yeah, it's it's just a game that, uh, yeah, the way it's made and um, yeah, we just have to work around it. Yeah, it will look a little bit weird when the guests will uh, will enter this part, but yeah, it uh, in the end, it, it's how about it, how, yeah, how it's looking, basically, that's... Uh, that's why we are building this. So um, yeah, and uh, again, a lot of these uh, these stone trims, and then uh, a lot of uh, mulch again, and a lot of uh, plants in the end. And uh, basically, that's uh, that's the whole idea behind this uh, little build. It's it's quite a simple one, I have to admit. Um, there's not a lot of going on, but yeah, they it does fit perfectly into this uh, new area of the zoo i already have something in mind for a next episode that's uh, some pretty good news which is yeah completely different from uh, from this one but yeah, i don't want to extend this too much that i will have all yeah the same buildings all around it because that would yeah probably not be uh, it will look good in the end but probably for you guys to watch it's uh, not the uh, most interesting uh, thing to see of course if I'm building the same thing over and over again. So yeah you can see I really uh, want things to be perfect and uh, then I start with the uh, null barriers I'm just putting them uh, around the, uh, the fence that I created um, for two reasons I don't want the animals uh, or yeah, to escape so I don't want to get any messages. But also a thing I want to try is that the plants that I'm putting around it, 
once you have like one leaf uh, entering the habitat you will already get like the um, yeah the negative effect on the um the foliage that you used in the in the habitat so the llamas won't like it and you will get a, a negative impact on the uh, habitat needs for the animals so i'm trying to uh, minimize that um i trying to put the uh, the stop gate in here and uh, that's a struggle again because of the path that is in there i do wanted to have it on this part um i actually also made some changes of camera and uh, moving around the building to fit in with the grid a little bit better uh, so once you make a change you you have to do it all over again so this path is attached to the grid of the building but then it doesn't connect to this path of course so yeah in the end it's a it's a real struggle this time and um, i didn't work with the pathing tool like this yet so i always just connect the habitats with the pathing tool and that's it and never try to make like a nice open area with some uh, yeah, with some buildings around it and that's uh, yeah and right now it's really a struggle and uh, i have to admit i have no clue how to improve it i'm not a programmer i never made a game or anything like that so yeah probably they uh, they did the best they can with the pathing tool i mean that it does have limitations but not a lot you can basically do anything with it but yeah in this case it's uh, a little bit difficult so yeah the uh, the animal is he's in I think it's a he or she I don't know um, but yeah I'm starting with some trees around it but these trees are actually from the region uh, or the same region as a llama so it doesn't matter if some of the leaves enter the habitat you can probably already see that after placing these trees we already have uh, like a coverage of 10% or something which is uh, strange of course uh, but yeah uh, the llamas uh, use a lot of long grass, so uh, there's a, a bit of uh, terrain painting uh, in here, but not a lot. I didn't want to keep the entire area like completely straight, so some small hills and some rocks in there, but yeah, again, not a lot. Uh, but I didn't want to make an episode without any rocks, of course. Uh, so some uh, some of the same trees, some nettles, uh, which are basically the only plants you can uh, use. Um, or otherwise it will be like a big tropical uh, trees and I thought that they wouldn't fit this area at all you can see that I'm trying to find some nice trees that would um, yeah successfully uh, fit into this uh, habitat uh, for the animal needs and stuff but yeah these are the only trees I can actually use uh, making sure the, uh, they can drink they can eat and uh, yeah that's almost it for this episode so I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video, I really hope you uh, like this new habitat and if you do, make sure you uh, hit the like button and if you didn't do it already, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any new content and I will speak to you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!